What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys another guide for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's guide, we're going to be showing you guys the best way to get money and how to clone items in this game. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet content goes live. But for the money guide, there are two methods. The first one we're going to be going over, it is before post game. And then the after one or the second method that I'm going to be showcasing is going to be for post game only. And obviously the post game one is going to be more viable. You are going to make a lot more money that way. But if you cannot wait till post game, I got you guys covered. But the second method also shows you guys how to clone items so i'm just going to be mixing both those guides together in one but for the first method this is for people who have not beaten the game yet you're going to want to come over to the asado desert i believe it's called let me go to my map real quick the asado desert i think it's called right asado desert where's the name tag at i don't even know why isn't it saying it why isn't it saying it it is the asado desert so you're going to want to come over to the asado desert right here and in the asado desert there is a bunch of little sparkling things over here where you can pick up items let's see if we can find it right here yeah there's one right here bang we get a little bit of a potion but there are tons of them located throughout this desert you can legit walk around and find a bunch of them until there are none left and then when there are none left you can actually respawn them by fast forwarding your switch time a day or like an hour and all that good stuff or you can just wait another hour and just come back here and constantly do it and eventually get a bunch of money but the reason why these sparkles are so good is because they don't just drop potions they drop items like star pieces star dust like we just found they drop sunstones and all that good stuff so if you can find a bunch of them you can actually sell them for a really high price i did this uh before i beat in the game and i was able to get over a million pokey dollars in rather quick time i was just coming back here every hour basically and then playing the game again and finding good items and then eventually at the end of the game when i beat post game i sold everything made over a million dollars so it was really good for me and it really stacked up and if you guys really like doing the raids too there are a bunch of raids that spawn here every single time you can honestly just come over here and uh do the raids too because you get a bunch of xp candies you get uh star pieces in those as well and you get items to sell just like that and make even more money so i really do like this method it's definitely very good for uh free post game but if you are in post game, the cloning item method is going to work 10 times better, which we will be showing to you guys in just a second. But I just wanted to show you guys a nice little run of it. I kind of have like a bunch of like set courses that I used to do with this, but I don't, again, I don't use this method anymore. I kind of just go uh, clone items and sell them, which I'm going to be showing to you guys in just a second. But over near this rock, you can actually find a ton of these uh, little sparkles. They're all around this rock right here. There's a bunch. I think there's like four or five right in this little section. Is it this rock? No, it's this rock right here. Look at this all. Wait, bang. You get that one. You get this one. You get should be one over here. Yeah, there's one right here too. Right there. Bang. There's one right here as well. And then you come over here and there's even more. Like, they're just all over the desert. And again, they do respawn, but they take about an hour. So once you clean out the desert, either go do something for an hour or you can go switch your uh, switch time, save your game, close it out and come back to the main starting point. And all these star pieces and sparkles are going to be respawned. For the post game guide on how to collect money the fastest and also clone items, you're going to want to go to a place where you can catch Pokemon rather quickly. So we're at the Lost Plateaus area, which is like one of the first areas in the game. So obviously we're going to be able to catch Pokemon super, super quickly. But the reason you need post game is because you're going to need Maridon or Coridon in its battle form. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to leave an open spot for our Coridon. I'm going to add them to our battle team right here. Yes, I want to add them to the battle team. And then I want to give them a held item that probably sells for the most. There is the ability patch in this game that you cannot get until you beat the post game, which is like a long little scenario. If you can get that ability patch, your item can sell for 1000 or not 1000 $125,000. So if you have the ability patch, that is going to be the best item to actually clone. But since I do not have the ability patch just yet, I'm going to end up giving him uh, just an ability capsule because that sells for about 25000 which is probably the best item I have for selling. So again, you want to clone the items that sell for the most. So definitely go check your uh, Pokemart check uh, which item sells for the most and give Coridon or Maridon that item. So in our instance, like I said, we're going to be giving them the ability capsule. So this is going to be the item that we're going to clone and I'm going to give it to them. So once you give them that item right here, you're going to want to hit the pause button to actually ride them again and then get off of them and then go back and put them back into your party. That's a crucial part to actually doing this. And something I forgot to mention is you want to go change. I'll actually show it to you guys in a second. You want to go change in your options. Your, uh, where is it at? Your center boxes to manual. You want to have this on. 
So you want to send the boxes to manual. You want to make sure Coridon is in your party with your thing. And then you want to go over and catch any Pokemon. It can legit be any Pokemon. It could be a strong Pokemon. It could be a weak Pokemon. But like I said, you kind of want to just go to a place that you can catch Pokemon fairly easily without doing much work. So I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at this Iggly buff and we're going to catch it. So once you catch it, it is going to be crucial because this is like all on you. It's kind of just like your timing. And I'll just get to that in just a second. But we catch the Iggly buff right here. It's going to come over here. We're going to get our XP, yada, yada, yada. Get a little bit of material. But what we want to do is actually not give it a nickname. And we want to add it to our party. So no nickname. Add this Pokemon to our party. Please select a Pokemon to swap from your party. And what you want to do is actually swap the Coridon. But not just swap the Coridon. You want to hit A and B virtually at the same time. But you want to hit A a little bit quicker. So it's going to go like A, B. But real quick, like I'll probably say it. It's got to go like this. A, B. A, B. Like that quick. So I kind of put my hand on the A and I slide it down to the B and I kind of just hit them both kind of at the same time but the A a little bit before it it's like maybe like a quarter of a second before it so if you can get that it's going to actually uh duplicate the item so let's see if I can get a first try here so I'm gonna hit A B and I did not get it I actually hit the B button first so if you hit the B button first it is going to send the Pokemon to the box if you hit the A button first it is just going to say Coridon cannot go to or Coridon cannot go to the uh box or something like that it has to say so it says something with a Coridon but I'm just gonna throw a nice little nest ball and I'm gonna catch this again and give you guys another try here but again it does take a lot of timing and the bet the more times you do this the better you are going to be at getting this and then eventually like last time I was in a groove doing this and I was just constantly like farming these ability capsules and getting a ton of cash in like five minutes I had over like half a half a million I was just climbing up the boards but again you want to add them to your party and you want to try this again so I'm gonna go here I'm going to hit A, B, and if you hit A too quick, it says you cannot send Karate onto the box. And we're just going to keep trying this, and there we go. I got it perfectly. So when you get it perfectly, this is going to pop up. It's going to say, Karadon has the ability capsule. Would you like? What would you like to do? And you're going to hit place item to, into your bag, and what that's going to do is actually place an extra ability capsule into your bag while your Karadon slash Maridon is still holding its item. So to continue this on, you want to ride on your Pokemon again. Hop off of it, go back here, you should have the Fido or whatever Pokemon you call it in your party. Switch your Crydon back here, and take him out for the Fido, so or whatever Pokemon you call it. In my instance, it is the Fido, so we're going to put him in here. He should still have the Ability Capsule, which he does, as you guys can see in the bottom left-hand corner, and in my bag should be another Ability Capsule, so let's give it a quick peek. Let's see, yep, I have another Ability Capsule. So there we go. Now we can just rinse, repeat, and do that all over again. So we're going to try it one more time for you guys. Just to show you guys that uh, you can constantly do it unlimited times as you want. But the only problem is you are going to have to release a Pokemon, which is rather annoying. But it's not that big of a deal with all the cash you're getting. But like I mentioned, ability patches, make you, you, you'll you get five to six times more money doing it with ability patches. But you can't get ability patches until you complete the post game and unlock six-star raid dents. So for the time being, I think buying one of these in the uh, Deli Bird Presents shops. It was really good. But we're going to try this one more time for you guys. Give Fido a nickname. No, add it to our party. And then we're just going to swap the cry down. Hit A, B really quickly. Did not get it. I hit A too quick. And there we go. I got it perfectly. So again, A, B, A, B, A, B. You want to hit it really quick. But again, A has to be shortly first. It has to be first. We're going to place item in bag. And then Fido wants to, uh, will be added to your party. And then again, to restart it, you just hop on your boy. You hop off of him. And then you switch that cry down out. So we'll check it one more time for you guys. Make sure everything is working beautifully. And we'll switch out the Fido. Make sure our Coridon has the ability capsule. And yeah, he has the ability capsule. And now we should have two of these ability capsules chilling in our chilling in our box or bag. So, and there it is, two, right there. So you can actually go over there, sell these ability capsules for $25,000 each. And they stack up rather quickly because this method is actually very easy. So guys, there it is, the easiest way to get unlimited money early on into the game and in post game. Also, we got a little bit of extra guide for you guys, showing you guys how to clone items. You can literally do this uh, tactic with any single item. You can do it with Master Balls, Ability Patches, Ability Capsules, anything you guys want to clone or anything that sells for a high value. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.